Hi everyone, welcome to Dev++. My name is Mitro Mzenski and I'm really happy to see you here on my channel. I hope you will find my videos really useful and you will learn something new from it. Uh, with this video I would like to start the uh, video series dedicated to Angular Material Library. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know what is this, but for people who don't know Angular Material, this is um, uh, UI component library um, created and maintained by uh, Angular team and uh, they provide already uh, ready component UI components like uh, inputs, drop downs, buttons and so on and so on. And in next videos we will learn how to extend this uh, library and how to properly adjust uh, Angular material to your design system and your project requirements. The first thing which I would like to show you, uh, this is the heavily used feature like uh, light dark theme switching and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first of all we have to create the new Angular application where we will be implementing our theme switcher and I will be using ng-cli for this and let's wait a little bit until all dependencies are installed okay here we pick scss because angular material uses also scss and to be able extend it smoothly we have to use also this kind of preprocessor so let's jump into our angular application yeah, the first thing uh, what we have to do is actually add Angular material to this. We will be also asked about several questions. And here we pick custom theme because we want to customize it completely. And we don't need typography, but we need animation, so pick yes. And now let's check if our application works. Let's go to the Google Chrome and navigate to localhost 4200. Yeah, as you can see, it works perfectly. So let's go back to the project and create some uh, basic layouts for our application. I will be using VS Code extension called NX Console. If you want, you can navigate to your extension tab in VS Code, find this extension and install as well. It provides a lot of useful tools and especially I like the uh, graphic UI for Angular schematics. That's how it looks like. You can uh, give the name to your component and then define some, I don't know, another properties like change detection strategy. Yeah, you can select it on push just because the unit testing is not a part of this video i will skip this but please don't do this in your real projects please use unit testing it's a great thing okay so our navigation component was created let's have a look how it looks like let's go to the template and let's see what our angular schematics generated for us we can close this and go to the application component and let's remove all uh, generated code and insert our app navigation. And let's see how it looks like. So reload the page and we can see that the Angular schematics created the menu for us and some header without writing any single line of code, which is super great. Yeah? Okay, now let's uh, go to the styles scss file. There is uh, the code which was generated by ngcli and oh, we see that we have some mixing which called mat light theme. We can duplicate this line and uh, rename the variable to dark and use mat dark theme mixing to generate dark theme. Now let's copy this variable and put it like a parameter to our Angular Material theme mixing. And let's see what we will get. So let's go to the browser and we see that dark theme was applied successfully. 
now we have to create a um, few classes which are going to be our um, let's say namespaces yeah so uh, the first one will be team dark and the second one team light and we will just copy the dark team into into the team dark and the light into the team light the second thing we have to do is to go to the our app component a little bit clean up things and let's add the new property which called is dark which is by default false and we have to um, import host binding and attach uh, some class to our application uh, host element depends on the value if it's if it's dark then should be applied theme dark class and if it's light it should be a theme light here we go and we can check this we can uh, open our um, console and we can see that theme light was applied to app component so now we change to the true and we can see that dark theme was also successfully applied and our app component class has theme dark class now let's go back to the google chrome and uh, go to the Material Angular website. In section components, we want to find slide toggle. This uh, this toggle will be our uh, theme switcher, and let's copy and import uh, this module. Let's go to app module and import this to our imports uh, section. Great, and now in template we also should add this matte uh, slide toggle and give it the name dark mode. Now we can go to the browser and let's see how it looks like. So uh, our switcher is there, it works perfectly, but it doesn't switch uh, actually uh, theme, so let's fix it. And to fix it, we have to um, uh, handle the event change. And let's create on dark mode uh, switched method. It should uh, get the event parameter somewhere below the constructor. We will add this function. And uh, one thing very important, we have to create the output, uh, which is uh, going to be event emitter imported from Angular core. <coughs> and it's gonna be type boolean. So now we have to uh, emit uh, the received value from our switcher. So it's uh, going to be change which is which has the type mat slide toggle change we can import this from the slide toggle from the mat angular material and we can destructure and uh, pick only checked parameter because we need only this okay let's uh, catch this event in our app component we also have to create a method called switch mode or you can give any name you like here will be um is dark mode so true or false let's have a look if it works so we're switching this and it doesn't work uh let's check what the problem um let's go to our switcher and yeah we didn't add output decorator and after this it works as expected but i also want to show you one case which i recently encountered uh, it happens when we using any uh, component which uses overlay as example material select 
So let's integrate this into our project. We have to import all necessary modules to make it work. So let's import also material select module. Here we go. Just add to the import section and let's go to the navigation component template and past our material form field and yeah we can see that there is no white background for our selection yeah if we click one more time oh sorry if we click one more time you see that it's transparent this is this happens yeah you see this happens actually because um this overlay is being created on the level body level so it's not a child of the app root where we apply the scene dark uh, class and that's why this uh, theme was not propagated to this overlay container so what we how we can fix it we should actually attach our class to the body element uh, to do this, uh, let's uh, inject first our document into our app component. So we can import this from Angular Common. And we also need to inject a uh, renderer tool uh, that allows us to manipulate with the element um, properties and attributes, etc. So once we inject everything, we can uh, implement uh, ng only need uh, lifecycle hook, and in this uh, only need we can define the default value, default theme for our application. So let's add attribute class to the body with uh, theme light. So then in switch mode we want to uh, actually check if uh, it's a dark mode then host class should be theme dark otherwise it's theme light and also we will uh, set attribute class with the already resolved host name and if we uh, yeah we forgot to import ng init probably yeah from the angular core we can save and now we can check if our application works so let's select yeah and you see the white background was applied that's great but i want to show you also the another way how we can uh, add default value default theme that we can directly do in index.html and define theme light there so in this case we don't need uh, ng only need anymore so we can remove it and also remove from angel angular core reload and yeah we see that it works as it was working before but we broke uh, for the reason our theme switcher let's have a look what the problem and this is because I forgot to remove host binding we don't need it anymore and this private is dark as well if we save and reload we will see that everything works fine okay guys that was it I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new so please leave some feedback in comments because this is my first video and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of things to improve and you your honest feedback would be really really useful for me and also if you're interested in some certain topic regarding the angular material you can leave your proposal in comments and probably next video i will make about topic you're interested in thank you very much and see you later